fast foodies, I have a feeling I'm gonna want some more of this. Welcome back, Fast Foodie Nation, to an ice cream review. I haven't filmed an ice cream review in uh, quite some time, quite some time now. But the reason why I am going to be reviewing some ice cream is because, well, on my most recent grocery trip, I came across a few new ice creams from their one and only Ben and Jerry's. Who doesn't love a good old pint of Ben and Jerry's? And since here on the Fast Foodies, we are all about trying the newest, the latest, the greatest snacks, ice cream, cereals, and yes, fast food items. I, of course, had to pick up those new pints of Ben & Jerry's. Now, before I show you the new flavors of ice cream I got, don't worry, I'm only going to be reviewing one today. If I had both, oh man, yeah, um, let's just say that would not be a good idea. But before I get into it, if you want to see more reviews of all of which I just mentioned, then guess what? All I gotta do to join the Fast Foodie Nation, hit that subscribe button. All right, Fast Foodies, now I can introduce you to the brand new PB S'more and Impressively Fudge ice creams. And as you guys have probably been able to tell by the title and the thumbnail of today's video, I am going to be reviewing PB S'mores. However, don't you worry, our review of Impressively Fudge will be dropping here relatively shortly. So as I mentioned, hit that subscribe button and you can also hit that little bell icon to be notified of when that review drops. But this PB S'more, I gotta be honest with you guys, I'm a little surprised that Ben & Jerry's is coming out with a s'mores flavored ice cream now. Usually I find that s'mores flavored snacks, ice cream, cereals, actually, are there any there's not too many s'more flavored cereals. But s'more flavored items, they usually come out during summer time, you know, in the summer when s'mores are a bit more popular. Not necessarily, I mean, where I am, it's still 25, 30 degrees in the morning. Not, not your typical s'more weather. But hey, 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 I'm not complaining. I mean, this ice cream, we got some toasted marshmallow ice cream as the base and then some peanut butter cups, graham cracker pieces, and last but not least, marshmallow swirls. So we got the peanut butter, we got the s'mores. I am very happy that they didn't add little marshmallow bits and went with a marshmallow ice cream and a swirl because I find sometimes like marshmallow bits and ice cream, it's kind of like fire and ice, you know, they don't go too well together. Anyway, it sounds pretty darn delicious. And as you guys can see, it is, it is new by all the, the new words, and so is this. It says new here. But yeah, are you guys ready to find out if uh, Ben & Jerry's nailed this? I mean, you can't really go wrong. You got peanut butter, s'mores, chocolate. Yeah, anyway, I got my tasting spoon. Fun fact, my sister actually got this tasting spoon for me when she was in Japan. You see, she got it at a Pokemon cafe, so it has a little, uh, some Pokemon there. It's a pretty cool tasting spoon. Fun little story. Uh, all right. Ooh, is there cookie dough? I don't think there was cookie dough. No? Oh, so those must be... See, I thought that may be cookie dough, but I'm pretty sure those are the graham cracker pieces. I assume that those are the chocolate peanut butter cups. Marshmallow swirls right there. And, of course, the marshmallow base. So I'm going to try to get a little bit of the chocolate peanut butter graham cracker and marshmallow swirl all on this tasting spoon. Okay, so it looks like there aren't, so this right here, that chocolate piece right there, that is not a peanut butter cup. That is just a piece of chocolate. So there must be pieces of chocolate in here as well. It makes sense, you know, as it is s'more. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. They get a little digging. Look, oh boy. Now we're talking fast foodies. This, my friend, look at that. That is a peanut butter cup. Oh yeah, all right. You got that. That is,
That's pretty darn good. That is good. Although I do have a suggestion. I think that this pint could have been not, I'm not, I'm not too sure if this could be better or not, but it would be interesting to say the least to see what would happen if they went with a graham cracker ice cream and then just up the marshmallow swirl. Because I'm not getting actually too much graham cracker flavor. I'm getting a good amount of the marshmallow, peanut butter. I mean, you guys saw that peanut butter cup, that was huge. And the, the marshmallow flavor doesn't come across too much in that base ice cream. You get it in that swirl. But I think if they went with a graham cracker base ice cream and just increase the amount of the marshmallow swirl a bit, I think that s'more, that quintessential s'more flavor and experience would come across a bit stronger. But as is, pretty, pretty solid pint of ice cream. I mean, yeah. It may not be s'more, s'more season outside, but in here, in this pint, yeah, uh, s'mores are definitely happening. Oh, here's a little description. Your classic s'mores experience is about to be elevated to a state of peanut buttery bliss with this combination of gooey marshmallow, graham cracker, and peanut butter cups. No campfire required. So I wouldn't say this is necessarily a peanut butter bliss. Peanut butter is more of a, it's not one of the primary flavors. You get some with the peanut butter cups, but that's about it. So don't go into this expecting a very decadent peanut butter ice cream. No, this is a s'more ice cream with hints of peanut butter and chocolate. Speaking of chocolate, this has a uh, chocolate ice cream, fudge covered pretzel pieces and pretzel swirls. So this is gonna be a bit saltier. We're gonna get some of that sweet and salty action. But as I mentioned, I'm saving this for a little, a little later. Don't wanna, uh, yeah, we gotta get through this one first. So speaking of that, for ratings, 8.5. Out of 10. Solid ice cream. Solid ice cream. One of my one of my top s'more flavored ice creams out there, I'd say, as of this time, as of recording this review. But I do think, yeah, graham cracker base, a bit more of that marshmallow swirl. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this Ben & Jerry's review, and we'll catch you in the next one. If you made it to the end of this video, then I'm sure that you want to become a fast foodie as well. So all you have to do is hit that subscribe button. And to see exclusive behind the scenes footage, then you can head on over to Instagram and follow the Fast Foodies at Fast Foodies Review.